Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Ark Survival Ascended with the ASP Gang. I'm your host, Millie Mill, and I'm trying to find my co-host, Alex the Wolf. I don't know if you guys can see him anywhere. I'm trying to look for him. Alex, where are you? Hello? Hello? Oh, dude, there you are. All right, well, what up? <laughs> <laughs> You're something else. Okay, so an earthquake just ended, so we've been picking stuff up. But today, I want to talk to you guys about Primal Nemesis and the Temptress Lagoon mod map. I'm playing Temptress, Temptress Lagoon Enchanted, the premium version. But if you can't play the premium version, at least check out the normal one, which is just Temptress Lagoon. You just take off the word Enchanted, and there you go. So we are playing ARK's newest overhaul mod called Primal Nemesis. It's made by Mr. Chaos, the same guy who made um, Primal Chaos, obviously. So today we're going to talk to you about just getting started. So the things you really, really need is this Primal Bench right here and this Primal Cauldron. Why do you need it? Uh, with this Cauldron, you can make vanilla stuff, your typical things here. You can make mm -hmm. your various kibbles, Alpha, Apex, Elementals, Advanced, Demonics, Godlies, all the good stuff there. Uh, now, the tiers are also pretty similar, so you're going to want to start off with the Alphas first and the Apex and so on. Now, I'm still learning about these other elemental types here, so don't judge me. I'm pretty new. So right here, this should tell you pretty much what goes on. So you got your Alpha and Apex right here. Those are the ones I'm at right now. You get this cool hide outfit too that's just a little bit weaker than flak so it gives you 80 protection versus 100 with the flak and to get this stuff obviously you need to collect alpha hide apex hide and blood works for other things as well you're gonna need that stuff for saddles now how do you get it so alex is hanging out over there i'm gonna show you some ways so obviously you want to kill some creatures but you're new you suck and that's okay you don't mess with that guy, because that'll hurt you. But you got dodos here, too. So those things are dangerous. Probably the most dangerous. These guys, pretty scary, too. But this guy right here, the galley, it'll hit you, and it won't hurt you. And it's not just because I'm in creative mode. It's because it really can't hurt you. And that's all right. That's a good thing. So if you're no. in trouble... God, they spin a lot, though. Okay. So if you're really hurting... You need some help. You need to come up in life. Get the galley because they are just easy picking. I mean, you can't go wrong taking them out. Same thing. You want to get Alex to punch you in the face because, by golly, it's the greatest thing on the planet. Yeah. Another, <laughs> another thing you're going to need, you're going to need a primal forge. And the forge is, let's see here. I got one right here. So you're going to need these different types of metals. And if you notice, you need things like obsidian and metal. You need elemental blood, nickel ore, stuff like that. So how do you get these ores? Now, the way to do that is for right now to kill yourself one of the rock elementals. Another thing, if you watch my video on how to find metal here on Temptress Lagoon Enchanted, it's called a heavy metal tutorial. Yeah, it's corny. I know. But I tell you where to find rich metal on there, and that's what you're also going to want to use to get the ore, I've been told. Now, I have not done it myself, but we'll just go through that really quick. So if you go all along the coast underwater, which means get your darn scuba gear out, don't, like, put it off as soon as you can. Obviously, scuba is more of like an advanced game thing. As soon as you get your scuba gear out, you're going to want to take advantage of that. You're going to want to kick some butt and get your metal on because you deserve it <laughs> right you only deserve the best another thing i want to show you guys is clingers advanced structures i just put out these concrete foundations to show off plus they look kind of cool i mean i don't need them up here in the sky but i thought hey why not just screw with it i'll probably make it just for fun i'll let alex do some stuff but look at this i mean let's see what it takes let's see concrete what do you need? So you're going to need obsidian, cementing base. It's pretty expensive. Metal ingot and stone. Not a lot of your typical ingredients, but that cementing paste, 85 
cementing paste per structure. So that's where it's going to really get you there. The sconce lamp, which looks pretty cool. Pretty basic. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Oh, Alex is playing with it. Okay, he's burying me right now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I was stuck <laughs> under one of these earlier, and it was, like, not easy to get out. So let's just take a quick look at the map. I'm going to fly around real quick here while Alex goofs off. Now, I've showed you guys some of these areas and stuff already, but I just kind of want to give you a quick overview of Temptress Lagoon Enchanted. Show you a couple of the dinos while we're at it. So with your different levels, obviously there's going to be some crazy stuff happening. My spawns, however, are pretty low and I don't know why. What is that? Oh, hey, look at this. Okay, let's try this out real quick. This is something different. <gasps> it's the ore. Oh my gosh, we got the ore. Nice. So you're going to get your different types of ore from these red looking rocks right here. I'm going to collect some shoot. I mean, I found it. Don't 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 get mad at me. You get hate it, but you know, it's not my fault. All right. So now we know how to get that. That is amazing. And to get your hide and blood, obviously, the easiest way, I told you already, is through those galleys. Now, from my sky base, I am at... Alex, where are you? Oh, no. I lost Rawr. my base. I lost my own darn base. Okay. Um, Hello. Yeah, I suck. All right. So, I went Finally, out. we have some comments. <gasps> You're a jerk. Okay. So, here's my sky base. For me, what I found after getting a trend on was I posted up at... Wait, it's not let me use my spyglass now. What happened? Okay, there you go. I'm at 9323. So if you want to be where I'm at right now, just for safety purposes, once you get a flyer, right here is pretty cool. And I'm going to show you why. Because right there, easy access to crystal, and I believe obsidian as well. But these rocks, they do give you some metal. I don't know if the crystals respawn or not yet. I don't think so. However, you'll get crystal here. You do get an occasional spawn. I cleared out the wood and everything too because like, I really needed it earlier to build my little base. You will get an occasional spawn over here, so just be careful of that. Be mindful. And the thing I like about it is right down there, off that beach, if you could scheme it, you can get some loot drops over there. I got some with the rings around them. You're all over the coast, so if you want to try to take a chance and dive for some metal, you could do that. And there's a drop around this way, I believe, here or over here. The only issue is there's Rexes. Oh my god, the Pelagornis are spawning like mad right now, Alex. <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, there was a Rex. Maybe it messed around and found out. I don't know. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay. What kind of Rex? Oh, you're a 145. Oh, that's a waste of a tame right there, man. Would have loved to get you. But I don't foresee that happening. How much Torpor do you have? Maybe I'll come back for you. I need to make some Alpha Tranks because those will work. So your Apex Tranks are 10 times the power of your typical Trank Arrow. Let's go to the call. Uh, let's go to the bench, actually. So let's go into the bench. Let's see. that. Can I get arrows from here? So your Alpha Tranks, they are Wait. not telling me a darn thing. Oh, four times better. Your Apex are 10. Celestials, what do we got here? I can't see anything saying anything about them. But you got your medals, too. It's pretty cool. I like it. So obviously, 6,000 Torpor per shot if you get the Elemental. Holy cow, that is amazing. Bionic does 9,000. Who that? 1,500 for alpha metal? Jesus. I need to get my, my fabricator on and, and level up strong. So what level am I already? Because I level up pretty quick. I'm already 53 because I do a lot of crafting and stuff like that. But if you are up for the challenge and you don't mind this dude popping in and out of the dang jar all the time making noise, I say please check out the mod Definitely check out Temptress Lagoon Enchanted. Shout out to my friends, Wowie Goo, Minerva, CJ, Bad Lad, and OG Sauce Mix Teddy for doing such a great job taking care of the map and the people who play on it. I Yay. really appreciate everything. And guys, I am just a few subs away from 500, so please 
do us a favor, subscribe, watch Alex the Zoom around us, and he's just going to be around to make some more cheeky, funny videos and live streams on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till we see each other again next time, guys, we will see you ASAP with the next episode of ASP. Hello. Peace, chicken grease. And, and all that good stuff. Alex's mohawk was right behind me. All right, guys, take it easy. <laughs> His butt was in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like what you see, guys, check out our first, well, my first episode of Primal Nemesis Episodes 1, and then also Episode 2 to give you an idea what gameplay is like. Till then, peace out.